The brand new Canon R8 is, in my opinion, the best budget full frame camera on the market right now. Today I'm shooting portrait photo and video on the R8 with some of the smaller, cheaper RF lens options. For photo, I'll mainly be using the legendary Nifty 50, the RF 50mm 1.8, which is an absolute dream to use on the new R8. I'm also giving away the very lens I use in this video to one of you guys, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can be in with a chance. And for video, I'm going to be using one of my favourite RF prime lenses, the 35mm 1.8. So let's get started. I came out to this beautiful country house to shoot some portraits in the little bit of good weather we've had in the UK lately. Everything you see in this video has been shot with the R8, whether it be photo or video and all the information will be below each clip. For photo I'm starting off on the 50mm 1.8 which is so nice to use on the R8. The R8 is one of my favourite travel cameras thanks to its size and weight and the 50mm 1.8 is the perfect, lightweight, versatile companion for travel. Yeah, I'll go quite wide. Quite a bit. Yeah, these look cool. So 50mm may be my favourite focal length of all time. It's just so versatile for portraits. You can back up to show more of the scenery here or take a few steps in for a mid-length portrait. I'm going to spin around now. I'll maybe get a little closer. Oh, and don't be fooled by this lens's budget price because it's pretty sharp too. I also have the 50mm 1.2 and this lens is not super far behind in terms of performance. just like that, it's cool. It was so bright this day that I did find myself at the max shutter speed when shooting in electronic first curtain shutter mode on the R8, which is one over 4,000, quite often when I was shooting wide open anyway. I did also notice that the Nifty 50 struggles a little bit when shooting directly into the sun. Perfect, that's nice, can hold that. Most of these stair shots are backlit and you lose a little clarity and contrast. It can mostly be fixed in post and I actually noticed the same issue with the 50mm 1.2 as well. I did also use the 50mm a little bit for video and found it to have great autofocus. Yeah, that's cool. Considering the R8 has no IBIS, I really like the look of the footage with the 35mm lens. There's no warpy movements from the IBIS and the lens IS in the 35mm clears up most of those micro jitters. Yeah, this looks really good. You get enough stabilisation from just the lens in my opinion. In terms of photo autofocus, the 50mm is really good too. I did some walking shots here and although not particularly challenging of course, I found both the R8 and the lens to perform flawlessly all day in this regard. Always getting tack sharp focus on the eye. If I had to have just one prime lens for both photo and video, it would be a really close call between the 50mm and the 35mm. They're both just so versatile. The R8 along with the R6 Mark II has some of the nicest true to life colours in the RF system on my opinion. That's good, that's cool, that's nice. I do find sometimes the Nifty 50 has a bit of a magenta colour cast but nothing too major. I already covered the overheating and battery life issues with the R8 in my previous video but the temperature gauge didn't show at all today when using it for short clips over the course of two hours or so. Battery life was also excellent. I had the camera turned on for the full two hours of the shoe and didn't even lose a bar. From here on out I switched on over to the 35mm 1.8 for the photos and this lens is a must have on the RF system in my opinion. Yeah, that's nice. And it handles beautifully on the smaller R8. 
This lens has been one of my favorites for a while now. And again, considering its price, this lens is razor sharp wide open too. Okay, is it nice? I think it's probably a little bit sharper than the 50 mm 1.8 as well. These are easily two of the most versatile and useful lenses on the RF mount for both photo and video, and they are both excellent pairings with the new Canon R8. So I hope you enjoyed that short photo shoot using the Canon R8. The R8 and the Nifty 50 is just such a fun combination to use for portraits, and the results are really good considering how small this camera and lens combination is. So that brings me on to the giveaway and I want to give this lens away to one of you guys as a show of appreciation for all the support you have shown me since starting this channel last year. I really do appreciate every like, view, subscription and comment. It means a lot and the fact that at the time of recording this video I am closing in on 5,000 subscribers is already way beyond anything I imagined that I would achieve when I first started this channel last year. So to be in with a chance of winning this lens, head on over to my Instagram, drop me a follow and leave a like and comment on this post. I'll randomly draw the winner on the 14th of May, so make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notifications on so you can catch the upcoming video where I will reveal the winner. I'll also put a link to the Instagram post in the description of this video. I bought this lens myself brand new just for the purpose of this video and it's only been used for that short photo shoot so you are receiving practically a brand new lens. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and for all the support and good luck to anyone that heads over to my Instagram to enter and of course I will see you guys in the next one.